guys, deluded I'm back again. You guys know I'm an Arsenal fan through and through, but I'm about football on a scale much more than just being labelled the deluded Guna. In fact, I actually prefer to be referred to as deluded. You know, one of my specialities or one thing I love is seeing young players and watching them progress. And roughly about a year or so ago, I was at Tottenham Hotspur's training ground in Enfield. A family member of mine was on trial at the club. And I saw Niall John, I saw quite a few very good footballers. Like Guillaume Balaguer was actually there to do an interview for some reason. One one week I was there. Um, Niall John was a baller. But in that same group, there was a game against, I believe it was Nottingham Forest. And I saw Janil Bennett. Now, um, forgive me if I pronounce his name wrong. If it's Janil Bennett or Janil Bennett, forgive me. His name's definitely Janil. Either way, the more important thing is the man's a bloody good footballer. 16 years of age. Um, I'm assuming that means he's a first-year scholar. I, I couldn't believe what I was saying. I was envious that he was a Spurs lad doing all of this. But for me, I really loved his bravado. I could see his coaches were probably angry at him. He was going past four or five players and probably overdoing it. But I like to see that sort of stuff. He believes in himself. Whenever he was missing a chance, he was harsh on himself. His ball playing was... He's, he's really a maverick footballer, man. He's, he really gets you out of your seat. He's very skillful. He can hit stepovers. He's got great balance. Good dribbler, can get his head up, his crossing probably could improve and his decision making as a whole probably could improve as well as positioning. But at 16 years of age, you're not going to be the full product. He's a very good player, he's quick as well, he can play on the left or the right. He's a very good player. Um, I've been looking into a bit of research, I've seen he's made his under-23 debut this year. Um, it actually came into defeat against Arsenal, so he's making he's making headwinds. He's starred at many a youth tournament. He's done well at the Euro Youth League. Um, he's played well at the Liam Brady Cup, which is, a, well, Liam Brady's an Arsenal man, and I believe Spurs, Spurs won it. So, yeah, I think he scored He scored in two of the three games he played, um, played um, for Spurs at FA Youth Cup level while still a schoolboy. Um, obviously, if you watched it, he got a hat-trick in a win against Swansea. I remember that game. Between him, Binks and now John, man, Spurs really do really, really have some talent. Looking at his 18, 19 stats, three appearances, four goals, one assist, and he's also played in the youth gen. So, yeah, he, 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 he he's a very good player, in my opinion. I've got a lot of time for him, man. He's a dazzling dribbler. He's silky. The main thing about it, he's got balance. He can, he's got variety in his play. He's a really good player. I believe they signed him from QPR. I'm not too sure when or the circumstances that opened up being able to sign him. But Spurs', Spurs his win is... is um, is to is to keep your detriment to be honest because he really looks like a footballer man. If I was a full, I am a fullback and I wouldn't want to play against him because I do think at times he he's a bit too one footed. But he can go with his he can go inside with his left if he's playing on the right wing. He can take you down the flanks with his right foot. He's a good player. Like I I've got a lot of time for good players. It's just a shame. The only real negative I can say about the lad is that he plays for he plays for Spurs. He plays for the slum. So yeah, man. Hope he goes all the way. Of course, potential is just potential. And the reason he's at a top six club is because he's got potential to be a first team player. That's the bare minimum. It's down to him to work. And 16 years of age is, is now pivotal time. I'm pretty sure he'll be, when he turns 17, I believe he turns 17 in, this, in December, January, he'll be given a pro deal. But on a general basis, first year scholar, you're, you're, it's your first time really playing full time football training every day. You've got to really get your professional contract within the next two years. And a lot of people that you see with a scholar for them two years, sadly, are out of the game by the time they hit 2021. So it's I don't want to say it's when football gets real because it is pretty cutthroat from the ages of eight years of age. You're seeing friends get released from clubs, but it does get real. Yeah, man, he's a good player, a very good player. And I've got a lot of time for him, man. So, yeah, keep doing your thing. Guys, deluded. I'm out.